that's ever oh, happened. Oh, thank you very show. much. God bless you for being here. Well, I think you're one of the greatest things that happened to film. How about that? Hey, thank How you very that? much. And you know, we have uh, many friends in common. And we do. We, yeah. we, well, Mary Kay Place is one. Mary Kay and, uh, and Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, yes. And Steven and one of my dearest girlfriends, who's Meg Ryan, both worked on Inner Space with you. That's true. So. That's true. That's when I first met Steven. Yes, that's yeah. what he told me. And yeah. I just, I have always wanted, I've dreamt of being able to work with you sometime because they've <laughs> both told me stories about as we all know, how hilarious you are endlessly. Oh, we had fun. I remember when, when you first meet Steven Spielberg, don't you find you, you do an impersonation of someone not intimidated? This is Steven Spielberg. <laughs> right. You know, you say, hi, Steven. And he's so down to earth and natural. Right. So, and right. you're kind of going, hi, how yeah. are you? Directed Jaws, directed every hit in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know. He's got a ball cap on, so it's got to be, you know, kind of regular, and he's very comfortable. And Sam Neill, too. you worked with a wonderful Sam Neill. Yes, Neil, I Jurassic did. Park. I love Sam. That was one of the greatest visual films probably in the last 10 years, Jurassic Park. It was amazing. I it mean, was... you saw things there that you just had only seen in storybooks drawn. Yeah, well, I also actually didn't see, but um, did <laughs> oh, yeah. when I saw the movie. Yeah, that's true. So, that's this whole blue screen thing. <laughs> it's a very weird yeah. deal. I mean, just to be sort of imagining what it's like to be kind of stalked down by a dinosaur or something. You've had such an amazing career, because Jurassic Park is kind of the classic Hollywood, big budget, big success film. And then you've also done fascinating independent films, Citizen Ruth and Rambling World. Yeah. You've, had, you've, had a, you've really done both directions whenever you I've, wanted to haven't you i've been so lucky and yeah. so blessed that i get to you know be an is, actor is that because uh, do you think it's because of your parents being both actors and, and that experience of growing up um, with their choices you know i think so i mean i think they wanted to be actors you know they loved you know creating different characters and it's what you know you always wanted to do we fall mm -hmm. in love with the people who most inspire us and uh and that was what they wanted to do and kind of transform themselves and challenge themselves. And so I think that was a great influence on me. Yeah, uh, her parents, of course, Bruce Dern and, and Diane Lamb. And, and, and they are remarkable actors in their, in their choices that they made throughout. And they divorced when you were how old? Two, yeah. At two. Yeah, I'm very bitter about it. Yeah. No, I'm not. Um, was that hard, I'm though? I'm just joking. <laughs> was it th um, that, was, it must be, that must have been very odd to have two famous divorced parents not even remember it's when odd. they were in Munich. Yeah. I saw the parent trap many a time as a child. <laughs> oh, really? And uh, conjured up all kinds of ideas to put them back together, but, but learned that they made a really smart choice. <laughs> I'm, I'm really yeah, what are they, certain that they... What do those they, two like when they're together? Well, they're hilarious and wild and full of all kinds of drama. And um, <laughs> they did Who's something. more dramatic, mommy or daddy? Or well, they it? both are in a completely different way. I mean, he's very low-key with his drama, and she's, you know, high velocity. Mm -hmm. But uh, they worked together a few years ago for the first time. Oh, Showtime. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And they were great. And they were amazing, and it was a great experience. And I had never even really seen them in a room together since, you know, I was a child. So I filmed this little short behind-the-scenes thing of them and went into my mom's editing room when she didn't know and took sort of behind the scenes thing of them having horrible fights and all kinds of stuff <laughs> and cut it together and put it on Showtime. Um, and I, they were really grateful. Um, no, I think it's, it's amazing. Some personalities just are not meant to be. They can still be friends they, and they can still fight as friends do, but they're yeah. just not meant to share a space. No, they had an amazing, amazing relationship together and had a child and, you know, I think now are much better friends because they totally get each other mm -hmm. and it just wasn't meant to be. And you're oh, now in a, uh, you now have a relationship, I would say, that with a r rather interesting young yes, man. Yes, very, very interesting and Billy amazing. Bob Thornton, how long Billy have you been Bob? going out with him? Uh, a little over two years now. Two years? Yeah, and we're just so happy, and we had the great pleasure of working together. I had the privilege of being directed by him and everything, and this movie, Daddy and Them, and uh, the most amazing thing about working with him, amongst many, is that you go to work at seven in the morning and we wrap at noon. He has everything <laughs> he needs. he's directing. And he makes us all go bowling. That's what we do. He's a bowler? He's a bowler. He loves to bowl and the entire cast and crew go I'm bowling. I'm a bowler, I bowl. Are you? Yeah, at Pico. Oh, do you yes, really? Yes, absolutely. Okay. You have your own ball? No, I want all the paraphernalia. Yeah, you gotta get your bag. own ball. I've got a shirt. Yeah. I've got my own shirt. But the ball and they're orange and lime green. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. See, you I need your own ball. ball and you need the bag. And unfortunately you do need the monogram. 
I mean, you have to go. Do you for have the, the monogram? Absolutely. All right. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> and I'm telling you, nothing is sexier than a woman who can do a 710 split. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad to say, I'm not. Capable. Everything works. The form, the delivery. But the thumb. Do you not get ever terrified? See, I watched Fred Flintstone too many a time end up rolling down oh, the lane. You can do that. And listen, you can, you can do the whole doesn't... thing. Oh, it's too heavy. You can do that bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's Show lots me of... how to bowl. What's the correct. Well, you, you, have to, you have to weigh it, and then you have to completely go into a psychological thing, like it's not any, and then you just let yourself go, and what? And See, then, look uh, at that form. Yeah. I'm impressed. But see, working on a movie with you, this is what, this is the dream is, of life. I remember Steven Spielberg told me, can I tell stories on you? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. That you, he came to the set one day, he was producing Inner Space, and you were dressed as Indiana Jones, <laughs> cracking a whip in the middle of the set. Yeah, he said it was the most hilarious thing <laughs> that he'd ever seen in his life. And Meg Ryan, who worked with you on the movie, told me that we, we always do these scenes in movies where you're in a car. You remember <laughs> That's this? right. That's right. And I had said to her, I, you know, I get so tortured. You're in a car, and you have the walkie-talkie, and you've got to go around and around a million times, and they have, like, a drive-by <laughs> shot. And she said, you're not going to believe my experience with Martin Short, that we were in this car together, and he was driving. I had the walkie-talkie, and we passed the camera, and we got lost. We were all... <laughs> <laughs> she said... All you had to do was go a block. We got a block. And I was driving in San Francisco, and I, couldn't, I had no sense of direction. And I kept saying, uh, uh, and then you'd hear on the mock doctor, where are they? Yeah, where we're are freaking they? They're supposed out. to be here. What do we? And, and then, then we really knew we were in trouble, because <laughs> so once you're breaking up, you know that you're... And we were said, lost in a Chinese parade. That's what she said, right. Chinese New Year in San Francisco. Yeah. And it was yeah. terrifying, and she couldn't <laughs> stop laughing, so she couldn't help with directions at all. We were great. Well, she's the most fun. And, and she sends her love as well. Well, uh, everyone who, who I know speaks endlessly well of you. And oh, you're going, you've gone back to college, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. And shouldn't you be at a kegger right now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm and thank so you for happy being here. Be here. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go away. There's so much more. Is it no, I haven't told anybody about us. Oh. Why? Well, I think that's good. If you... Yeah. Yeah. Because you know when celebrity relationships go public, and I don't know, it starts to ruin everything. Right. Do you think? I do think so. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Okay. What'd you do last night? Huh? Larry, this is Laura Dern. She's going to be on the show tonight. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Wow. wow. What a great thing that you're on the show. I'm so thrilled. I'm what a delight. Fan. Are you kidding? Yeah, delightful. That's She's so great. She's going to talk about her trip to Mexico. The sunburn? Yeah. The, I assume, sunburn? Some story, yeah. funny story. <laughs> Fair. About a sunburn? Skin. Yeah. Do you guys know like each it. other? No. No. We've I... never met before, have we?